now I need to harvest for lunch. We have an eggplant here that is ready for picking. This eggplant, which is already touching the ground. And we have the bitter melon here that is also ready for picking. This one right here. And then I saw another one. Um, I think that one over there is also ready for picking. pick that later I think it's still a little small so I'll save that for later now I'm going to pick some tomatoes I have eggplant, bitter melon, and tomatoes for our Filipino lunch. These are my garden harvest. Bitter melon, eggplant, and tomatoes. So for, I am preparing a Filipino uh, Sunday lunch. So for this uh, bitter melon, I'm going to uh, cook this with egg. And then same thing with this one, I'm going to make eggplant omelette my favorite or tortang talong that's how we call it in the philippines and then or in filipino and then i'm going to make a uh, salted eggs with a uh, salted egg salad with tomatoes and then a uh, shrimp in garlic butter sauce it will be really quick probably like you know less than an hour it's 11 15 right now let's see how fast i'm going to pull off this uh, filipino lunch um so first i need to broil the uh, and the rice is cooking already. <laughs> we always eat um, rice with Filipino dishes. And then for uh, the eggplant, I need to broil this first. So to broil, I just need to cook the eggplant so it doesn't like burst in the oven and I already preheated the oven now it's on broil so there next I'm going to prepare the uh, salted egg so it will be uh, soaked in uh, tomato juice I need to wash the tomatoes. And so I wash these tomatoes and I'm going to slice them. This is super ripe which is like really perfect on the salted egg. <laughs> this is not easy to... Just use some yellow tomatoes and red tomatoes. And then the salted eggs. Oh, the orange one too. This is pretty. And then the salted egg. I already washed the salted egg. Just need to.
And so this is ready. I just need a vinegar. Let's put some vinegar. Next is um, shrimp in lemon garlic butter sauce. So I'm using a mini prep to prepare the uh, garlic pasta. More delicious with a lot of garlic. This is the lemon that I picked from the garden the other day. It's a huge lemon. <laughs> I'm just using half uh, the juice of half of the lemon. because it's going to be like really sour if you use the entire like lemon and then while this is cooking I am going to prepare the uh, achaki eggplant I think the eggplant is ready so yes I think it is ready I'm going to let this like, cool down a little bit while I prepare the uh, bitter melon. And this is cooking too. So now I am preparing this uh, bitter melon to make it into like bitter melon omelette sort of. I just used the uh, like cherry tomatoes, some onion, and then tomatoes. So the shrimp is done while I'm waiting for the um, the onion and then the tomatoes. I just need to peel off the skin of this eggplant like that. So I, I broil, broil this eggplant and now I'm peeling off the skin like that. This is my favorite way to prepare eggplant. the onion and then now I need to add the bitter melon. Okay. 
Now I need to beat like five eggs. Three for the um three for for the bitter melon and two for the eggplant. There you go, five eggs. Thank you watching it. And then I need to get this egg with this very cute egg beater. Yes. <laughs> a little angry, I think. The egg is a little angry. I need a uh, and then I'm going to put a little bit of milk. That makes the consistency of the eggs like better. <laughs> oh, it tastes better too with the meal. So this is ready. Add the eggs on the uh, bitter melon. So let me add this bitter melon first with salt. And then the egg. I need to save some more eggs for the eggplant. I think this should be enough. And then I just dump the eggplant here. And then prepare it after this uh, bitter melon on the same pan. See, it's a pretty dish. So this is for the bitter melon omelette. Bitter melon is very nutritious. need to spread the eggplant and add the eggs there you go I think that's better Here is the eggplant uh, omelette now I need to go to the garden to pick some calamansi and um, the green zebra. Time check 11.45. Everything is done. I just need to uh, prepare the calamansi juice. It's hot outside so I, I didn't take a video anymore. But these are the uh, ones that I picked there. So I have the green zebra and then the calamundi. So these are variegated calamundi or calamansi and this is green zebra. I'm going to add this green zebra on the salted egg salad and then I'm going to make calamansi juice. So I'm going to wash this first. Let me... So let's slice this calamundi. Uh, It smells so good. I wish you could smell this. Oh, it smells so good. It's like really hot outside. And I'm going to pick some of these bougainvilleas. This is the only one that is like still blooming right now because of the heat. So the bougainvilleas are very pretty. And here's what I picked. And here are the bougainvilleas that I picked from the uh, garden, from the front yard. I hope they are from, this is from the other night, still here, but not as uh, vivid anymore. 
close with this one. the newly picked one time check a little past 12 so i prepared all the dishes i went back to the garden to pick some calamondine and or calamansi and um green zebra tomato and i also went to the front yard to pick some bougainvilleas so it's like 45 minutes in total now i need to prepare the table so we have the almost 12 10 and then our lunch is ready i started at 11 15 so we have the uh, this is filipino lunch so we have the bitter melon omelet with with eggs and uh tomatoes and then we have shrimp and garlic butter sauce and then salted egg salad with tomatoes and the eggplant omelette and then the uh, rice we always we filipinos always eat with rice with our like kind of filipino dishes and then the calamansi juice so here is our sunday lunch filipino style sunday lunch thank you so much for watching if you like this video please click on the thumbs up button and subscribe and we hope to see you in the next one bye for now